connect our library page to our Airtable database so that our library page will be able to dynamically update any time that we add to or edit the database or table in Airtable. To start, we can see that our header and our library page has been brought over from our home page. So if I click into the header here, we can see to update the header or footer, go back to the home page. To change that, we'll go to the settings of the library page. Under default header and footer, we are going to toggle off the use default header selection here. We'll keep the footer, but we want to be able to update the header to be slightly different from the home page. So we can save that. And now we can see that that header block has been removed and we can add it back in, but now we'll be able to just edit it as needed. So if we click in here, we can again, remove that placeholder and we can add our padding back in. So it's the same as the header on the homepage in size. The reason we are doing this is because we want the collapsible menu here to have different links from the home page, namely just a link back to the home page and a sign out link. We don't need a sign in link because in order for a user to see the library page that we're on right now, they will already need to be signed in. So we can remove these other links here and just keep our home link and we can link this back to the home page as we already have that set up. And we do want to toggle on this show user profile button so that we will also have a sign out link available to us. I'm just going to change that from all caps and that's it. So now we have our new header here. It's ready to go and we've updated our links. Next, if we go back to pages and library and settings again, we want to adjust our visibility. So right here, we can define which user groups can view this page. And instead of all users, we're going to select just our logged in users and we'll save. Next, we can add our title and list blocks to our page. So we can add a block and our title block is in the other section and it is just a simple text block. We can edit here. And we can center this into the page. Next, we will add a list block. We're going to add a list with vertical cards and description. Using the list block will allow us to connect to Airtable. So as you can see here, the list block has been populated with a heading, a photo, and single lines of short text, as well as filters at the top and bottom. So first we will need to connect to Airtable before we can edit any of those elements. And before we move on in Softer, let's head over to Airtable to see what our database looks like. So this is our current Airtable database for Fitbooks. To keep it simple, we only have one table with columns for book title, author. If there are multiple authors, we can list them in authors one through three. We have an about the author section, a summary in one sentence of the book, a book cover that is an attachment field, a single select collection field, and a purchase link that links to Amazon. One thing to note here is that Softer doesn't currently support the ability to connect to a lookup field. So if I had a separate collections table that referenced this collections field, then that would be fine in Airtable, but would not surface as a field to connect to in Softer. So, so that's why we've just kept it simple and have this single books table with all of our information and data in one place. Great, so we've just started with a small sample of 12 books and their data. And the other thing that we need from Airtable is our API key. 
which we can find if we click help and API documentation and authentication. And then if you click this button here that says show API key, your API key will then be shown here and we can copy and paste that into Softer. So let's head back over there. We'll click set up Airtable. And now we can paste in our Airtable API key that we just copied from Airtable's API documentation. So to double check that you have connected, we can go into settings and integrations, and you should be able to see this green dot and that will let you know that you have added in the appropriate API key and that your Airtable account is now connected to Softer. Also, we're able to see here that we can now select a base from our Airtable account. So I'll select our FitBooks base and our table is books. And we only have one view, which is our grid view. And we don't need to sort. We'll change our items per page to 12 to surface all of them at the same time. And items per row, we can keep at three. In terms of filters, we will name this collections. And we can update our text size here to be a little bit bigger. And here's where we can now link to Airtable. So we'll click our magic link button here. And now we can filter by collection. And we'll just update these tags to be our names for our collections separated by a semicolon. Great, so we can see that our preview has updated automatically and we have all six of our collections here reflected. And the position of our inline filter is at the top and as a list. And we'll just keep the list of filters at the top and remove the list that's on the left here. Great, so now in our list item fields, we can connect the other parts of our database here. So our image, we're going to select from our Airtable as the book cover. And just going to change the size of the covers here to make them a little bit smaller. They're thumbnail images, and that way they can be nice and crisp for us. So we have our book covers. Our heading one, we are going to have as our book title. And then our text field here, we're going to have as our author name. So author one and author two. And then we're going to another text field. Doesn't need a label. This will be author three. If there are multiple authors, then they will appear on separate lines, as we can see here with Vladimir and William as opposed to all on one line. So we need to add a couple of other fields here to surface our about the author section as well as our summary and our button. So this field will be a rich text field and we will label this about and this is going to connect to our about the author section. Add another field is our summary and this is only a single line text field so we should be okay to add that just as a text field and lastly we're going to add our button so this is going to be our get book button and the action is going to be opening an external URL 
which again, we can pull in from our Airtable database, which is our purchase link. And we can update our button here. Color, we're going to make this button black and we'll do our text as our yellow color. Great, we'll add a little bit of margin at the top and bottom to give our button a little bit more space from the text and from the base of our block here. So our button is ready and we can head back to the rest of our parameters here. The see more button won't surface because we are showing currently all 12 items in our database. But if there are more than 12 items, let's say we had 24 and we would have a second page of 12, there would just be a see more button down here. Uh, that's what this see more button is referencing and that would take you to that next page. So it's a pagination button. And on click, we will do nothing. Clicking on the individual box here for each book title won't do anything. And the empty state refers to the search bar. So no results found if our user searches and nothing comes up here in the search. That would be the empty state. The only other thing that we want to do here is in this purchase link, if we click on these three buttons here, we want to make sure that we have our purchase link open in a new tab so that we can keep a pretty seamless experience for the user there. If they do want to purchase the book, then that'll open up in a new tab for them. Great. We can see to the left here, the live preview of our list, and it's been populated with all of the data that we have in our Airtable table, and it's dynamically able to update. So if we update anything in Airtable, we'll be able to see that here and then publish to our live site at any time. In the next video, we'll look at building our sign in and sign up pages and linking our pages all together correctly.